Today I'm going to walk you through some of the features of Book Creator using the collaborative feature on the web. So your teacher gave you a, a link to click on to. So you're going to click on sign in with Google. Once you sign in with Google, you're going to use your Google credentials. Once you go into the Google credentials, your iPad is not going to look like this. What your iPad is going to look like is it's going to ask you to join a library. It's going to have this feature and you're going to type in the code from your teacher and click join library. Once you're done with that, you're also going to notice that this is the collaboration feature because of the digital literacy right here that lets you know that more than one student can be on the book at the same time. Each book is labeled group one, two, three, all the way up to six. Your teacher is going to tell your group what group number you are. Today, you're going to focus on designing the cover of your book. And then I'm going to walk you through the next step. So for this week, you have a two, four, six, eight to complete. And there's a couple different ways you can do this. The first one, the two, is comparing this book in two ways. So you can actually change this template completely by going up to the plus. When you go up to the plus button, you have all these different images. I would start over here. I would click on the panels and I can change the way the panels look. So I might want to do it in one of these two formats. When I do that, I can go over to the I button and now I can change the background. You can see me changing the background. I can also go back to the I because I want to compare similarities and differences. So I'm going to go to the text button and I'm going to type in the word similarities and it populates for me. Now I can move this around here. I can also go back to the I button right here. And when I do that, I can change the font. I can change the size by just moving this bar here to reduce it, the size of it. I can change and make it in the center and I can change the color, okay? So that is one option. The other thing I can do is I can go back to the plus button and I can add shapes. If I want to do something with shapes, I can click on a shape and maybe I want to type the word differences. And then I can move that around as well. I can shrink it up. I can move it around. If I don't like it, I'm going to click and hold on the image and hit cut and that's how I delete something. Then also with the plus button, this is some cool features as well. So let's say I was doing, um, I need to create an identity web for my character. I might want to use a map for that. So I'm gonna go to the more button in graphic organizers. And from the graphic organizers, I can click on to templates and you might wanna take a look at them and move them around and manipulate them. I might want, for comparing the similarities and differences, I might want to use a Venn diagram. Or over here, the setting, I might want to cl click onto the word web. If I do that, I want to add it to the book. Okay. Let's see. I can even change the top word, and I can say setting of the story. So you can manipulate it however you want. Okay. And then I can just click onto each of these boxes. I just double tapped setting of the story, hit return, and then I have my template there. So for this week, as I said, you have a task. You have your two, four, six, eight. So if you're doing the character one, maybe you want the character in the in um, the center of it. So I could just take this document and copy it and it's going to make a second one. I can go back and I can manipulate this and make it just a single page. And then maybe I want to add an image. My character likes to go snorkeling on the beach.
Okay, let's see what we can find there. And then I can find an image of a person snorkeling. I can add it. Here's my image of my character. I could add all those different shape bubbles to the side and do a descriptor. I can also add with the shapes the arrows. Oops. And I can move the arrows around. So that is another example of different ways you can manipulate the material. Again, if I don't like it, I'm going to click and hold and hit cut. All right. 